Hi, I'm James Crocker, founder and president of Water Blasting Technologies. Here at Water Blasting, we build the water blasting machine known around the world as Tripog. These machines are used to remove rubber from touchdown zones on runways and paint markings from highways and airfields. We are not the only maker of such machines. There are nine other companies that manufacture machines that use high pressure water for these purposes. But be careful. Removing these materials without damaging the underlying surface is technical. Unfortunately, many have done this work with machines that take the wrong approach to the challenge and have given the process of water blasting a bad reputation. These other companies often believe that less pressure or less volume used on the surface will cause less damage to that surface. And that is just incorrect. The solution to removal without damage are complex and I have spent a lifetime learning and testing. As a testament to our success, we now have more machines working around the world than our five largest competitors combined. Our Stripe Hog line of products also use ultra high pressure water to remove rubber from touchdown areas on runways, as well as remove thermoplastic and epoxy striping from asphalt and concrete roadways and runways. There are many companies out there that attempt to use their own idea of what a high pressure water machine should look like. There are also people building what their idea of an airplane should look like. And that doesn't mean that you ought to get in and fly with them. The reality is that asphalt and concrete cannot stand any extended contact with even 10 or 20,000 PSI without sustaining damage. That is why we double the pressure to 40,000 PSI and then radically limit the water usage per nozzle to create a series of needle sharp tools that have only short range sharp impact and then add rotation for coverage and control. This radically cuts down on the exposure time needed to obliterate the material and prevents damage. We have developed extensive comparison with nearly all of our competitors, but today we will focus on the Cyclone product. This machine is manufactured by Nilfisk Advance, and though Nilfisk is a giant company, the Cyclone product accounts for less than one-tenth of one percent of their sales volume and receives the corresponding amount of their focus. Rubber and paint removal from asphalt and concrete. It's all about achieving a high enough pressure to remove the material quickly through a single nozzle with as little volume of water as is necessary through that single nozzle. Then we add nozzles to a spray bar and rotate that spray bar in order to cover a much wider area along a desired path. We have specially designed software that helps us determine the number of nozzles as well as the optimal rotational speed of those nozzles. Cyclone attempts to use only 20 nozzles to distribute six gallons of water per minute. This results in a very aggressive spray pattern which means more damage to your surface. Conversely, the Stripe Hog uses 30 nozzles per six gallon which puts out 50% less volume per nozzle, giving you the same pressure, but far more coverage and control. The result is more control and less damage to your surface. When it comes to removing rubber or paint without damaging the surface, it's also imperative to train and certify our operators to properly adjust the following. One, standoff distance. This is how far the water jet is placed away from the surface. The Stripe Hog has adjustable wheels that allow you to adjust the standoff distance. The Cyclone does not have adjustable wheels that allow you to adjust the standoff distance. Rotational speed. Slower speeds result in longer dwell time and a more aggressive pattern, while faster speeds are less aggressive. The Stripe Hog has completely independently adjustable RPMs for each head. This manufacturer attempts to combine a fan that flings the debris into a hopper placed on the side of the head. Doing so makes the debris collection dependent on RPMs and completely eliminates the flexibility to adjust the RPMs of your spray head. This configuration also makes it very difficult to impossible to adjust spray widths. In fact, it is so difficult that they literally just include two entire heads, but this greatly limits any flexibility in adjusting to specific line widths. Thirdly, the number of nozzles. 
The Stripe Hog Spray Bars have a wide variety of options for this very reason. Here is an 8 inch spray bar that is quite aggressive. You would only use this for removing heavy thermoplastic or epoxy markings. While here you see an 8 inch spray bar with a greater number of nozzles for paint cleaning or cure compound removal. Notice you are completely unable to change spray bars on the Cyclone head. In fact, it is very difficult to even change a nozzle out if it's worn because the nozzle extender that you can see here may come loose from the spray arm and you cannot reach it with a wrench. Here you can understand how it's impossible to create a narrow width with the Cyclone head. The entire central hub occupies the space which you would need to put jets in. Width of spray bar. It's important to size your spray pattern accordingly to what you are trying to remove. Here you see a great example of what not to do. A very thin line being removed by a very wide spray bar. Some machines give you very little options relative to spray widths. Like two permanently mounted configurations with only two widths. The Stripe Hog allows you to quickly change your spray bar in minutes so that you do not impact the area outside of the removal zone. While the 36 inch head may work just fine for rubber removal, there are no 16 inch wide markings on an airfield. And as you can see here, you cannot remove an 18 inch wide line with an 18 inch wide head in one pass. We also have many people who will confirm that the Cyclone product was never meant to remove paint and the unit cannot pump the paint through the one inch red line back to the debris tank. Five is forward speed. Every unit we build has hydrostatic drive, allowing the operator to quickly access infinitely adjustable forward speed. Oh, and as for the 135 mile per hour winds under the Cyclone head, 210 miles per hour winds won't even remove the skin from my face in this clip, let alone accelerate rubber removal. The Cyclone machine cannot travel on highways and has a top speed of 17 miles per hour, while a Stripe Hog can travel to other airfields in the vicinity or to a repair or refueling station, a water station, or a dump station. The Cyclone has a purpose-built chassis that is not locally supported by any truck dealer, like the Stripe Hog. And let me tell you, you're going to need some support with the more than 140 components up underneath this head and that's compared to less than 15 for the exact same comparison on the Stripe Hog. And when any one of these wears out, the results can be catastrophic. Additionally, you would have to buy two six gallon per minute Cyclone machines to equal one Stripe Hog 8000, making the price extremely high. If you're considering a lower cost, lower productivity option, then consider our equivalent SK2000 on an Isuzu chassis, nearly half the cost, and still has all the benefits we've talked about earlier. There's not a single example of an airport that has bought a Cyclone and then came back later to buy another Cyclone. There are many examples of repeat customers the world over for the Stripe Hog, including four units at Dubai International, four units in Denver, multiple units at JFK, Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, and more. We even had one customer who purchased more than 15 units over the course of many years. And look at this list of airports who after seeing demos by Cyclone and Stripe Hog, chose Stripe Hog. We'll be more than happy to put you in direct contact with any one of these people and the airports they represent. Water Blasting Technologies has a strict training and certification program, complete with continuing education requirements. When you hire a Stripe Hog system with a certified operator, you can count on the work being completed with minimal impact to your runway or roadway surface. Water blasting is one of my great passions and I've made more than a hundred other videos that can be found on Water Blasting University. Log on today for your user ID and password and continue learning or email me with your questions at james at waterblasting.com. Thank you for your time and until I see you again, Happy blasting.